All right, are you guys ready for this? Terry Davis on simplicity. You love this video, Rip Terry? Yeah. An idiot admires complexity. A genius admires simplicity. A physicist tries to make it simple. Anyway, uh, an idiot, anything, the more complicated it is, the more he will admire it. If you make something so clusterfucked he can't understand it, he's going to think you're a god because you made it so complicated nobody can understand it. That's how they write journals and academic journals. They, they try to make it so complicated people think you're a genius. Okay, anyway, so... Good advice. It's good advice, everybody. Good advice. Complexity does not necessarily mean anything good. I agree with that. That's all I got to say on that one. Let's just get that one out of there. I just feel so bad for that whole situation. So we're just going to move on. I've always wanted to watch like a document uh, documentary on this. Programming war crimes. Oh, baby. Programming war crimes. Okay, can I be real for a second here? I had code identical to this just just literally this morning. Just this morning. I looked at this and I was like, what the f am I doing here? It had to it had to like erase just erase it. Just let the thing throw. What am I doing here? Why? Billy, why, Billy? Oh my goodness, this is actually too real, and this actually hurts me just a little bit, okay? This hurts me a little bit. What? Why would you? This is just here to hurt me. This is just here to hurt me. This is this not even this is not real. This is purely meant to be a ploy against my emotions. Swift. Everyone likes Swift. There are so many things here that make me angry. I can't even begin to describe. Oh, these are awful. I was not emotionally prepared for what we're looking at right now. I was not prepared right now for this. Oh no. Oh no, what am I looking at? I was at Netflix, and I kid you not, oh man, I don't want to say his name, but he, he was like, yo, yo, come over here, look at this. He was looking at some partner code. It was literally this. This is like identical representation to this at Netflix. Cream of the crop, right, baby? No! Man. I was like, that cannot be real. And they're like, it's real. I'm like. I was emotionally bruised at that point. <laughs> I can't see what it is, but it's centered, which makes it hilarious. <laughs> ah. 
I don't know. That's just kind of funny, right? You're just teaching someone that print is a, it takes in many arguments, okay? This is a great introduction to programming, okay? It's really the capital lettered variable names that are the, the most egregious part of this entire thing right here. What are we, what are we watching this on? 240s, the only, uh, is it because it's in Microsoft Docs? Like, what's the problem here? Elfish? Is that what that's supposed to be? What the hell is, I can't even read this. I actually can't even read this. Okay, that's just scratch, okay, hey. Good for whatever kid made this, okay? Can we all, can we give claps out to the kid that grunted through this and made his robot do little spin dance moves? Did Orange Justice the most overdanced dance move on Fortnite by all 11-year-old boys? Can we all just congratulate him right now? Thank you very much for the Orange Justice scratch, rep you know, representation here. Very beautiful. I've heard about this malbulge program, and apparently it's just, like, impossible. It's a programming language meant to be hard. I feel like th those ones aren't as funny. This one's just emotionally painful that someone's writing in cursive. But these ones aren't necessarily funny. I like those first couple. Those ones were really good. The cursive is a little upsetting. <laughs> okay, again, the quality's so low, but is that is that Git? Are we looking at a git? Is this is this supposed to be is this supposed to be git right here? Is this is this dev is this dev, is this git flow? It's a git forest. Oh. It's a bonsai tree. How do you trim the bonsai tree? Do I have to wax some some someone on or off? It took me a second. I was like, okay, where's the thing that's changing? And then you just... <laughs> oh, no. And it just is adding 200 to it. Oh, my goodness. The best part is that first number is this. Oh, my goodness. It's just adding 200. This is beautiful. <laughs> I've seen one of these before. <laughs> I just love the fact that JavaScript, that when Brendan Eich wrote it, he thought, you know, it would be a good idea. Since sort needs to work on everything, let's just make it all a string. Let's just make it all a string. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? You know, this is a great programming exercise. You know, sometimes uh, in my younger years, when like an intern would come in and ask me, like, and, and want to interview, I would ask them FizzBuzz just to see, like, do they even know what a map is? It's FizzBuzz is a great question. Because then when you go like this, when they get to this point and you go, what happens if you want to add seven as Baz? And they start trying to write it with a bunch of if statements. And you go, is there anything else you could use? Like anything better? And they go, no. You know, you can kind of just kind of know. You just kind of know. You just kind of know in that point that it's just not looking good, okay?
Bye, Billy. Get the hell out, Billy! I cannot believe how much YouTube recommends me my own videos. You know, you would think at this point that they wouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Like, just by, at this point, you'd think, okay, hey, this is the same owner of the same account. Maybe we don't need them to have all the same crap, you know? But no, no, they don't.